in this video, we will solve the question number 9 from the exercise 1 star from shape and space 6 chapter. You can see the page number 70 in your textbook. There is a question number 9 that is asking find the angle AOX. This angle we need to find. That is angle AOX in terms of X. From the figure, you can see this OB and BC, the two sides are equal. So from this triangle BOC, we can say this angle is equal to this angle, right? These are the base angles of isosceles triangle. So this angle is also the X. Now we will find the angle CBO. I will have angle CBO equal to 180 degree minus the sum of two angles, that's 2X. You can see here, from this triangle, triangle BOC, I am writing the major of angle CBO, that is this angle. It will be equal to 180 degree minus 2X, why 2X is sum of the two. So here I have to write the reason, because sum of angles of triangle BOC is 180 degree. This is the reason for that. So we got this angle. Now you can see this angle. How to find this angle? Since ABC is a straight line and we know the sum of two angles. For sum of angles on the straight line is 180 degrees. So I can write angle A B O is equal to 180 degree minus that means I am finding this angle minus this angle that's C B O and its major is this 180 degree minus 2x which is equal to 180 degree minus 180 degree and minus minus is plus 2x it's plus 180 it's minus 2, 180 the answer is 2x. So the measurement of angle ABO is 2x. Now I found this angle. You can see from the figure OB and OA are the radii of the circle. Same circle. So this side is also equal to this side. Now I know this angle is 2x. So this angle will be also 2x. From this triangle AOB I can find angle AOB is equal to 180 degree minus sum of these two triangles angles that's 4x why same property i will use or same theorem i will use sum of angles of triangle this time aob aob is 180 degree so now i found this angle the measurement of this angle. You can see from the figure, angle AOC is the combination of these two angles. I can write angle AOC is equal to 180 degree minus 4x, that's this angle, angle AOB plus x, which is equal to 180 degree minus 4x plus x is minus 3x. Now from the figure you can see angle AOX and angle AOC, the two angles are on the same line. So their major will be, sum of the two angles of, will be 180 degree. I can write angle AOX is equal to 180 degree minus this angle, this portion. That's AOC which is already minus 180 degree minus 3x. That is 180 degree minus 180 degree plus 3x. These two will be cancelled out and the answer is 3x. This is the answer of the question. Once again you can see from the diagram what we did. First, there, this x was given, this side is equal to this side. It means the two angles are equal. This angle is equal to this. Why? Because they are the base angles of isosceles triangle. Now I can find this angle 180 minus some of these two angles. 
that is 180 minus 2 x now from this side from this straight line I can form this angle what is the major of this angle it is actually the angle OBC plus angle Now you can see the question mark now. It is ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AB is called AD and BD is called CD. This ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AB is called to AD and BD is equal to CD. And angle DBA is equal to DBA is equal to x degree and angle DBC is equal to 2x degree. This is given in the question. What we need to prove? We need to prove A, B, C, and D are coincident. That means point A, B, C, and D are coincident. We need to prove this. What does it mean? It means we have to prove all the vertices lie on the circle. That means A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. We have to prove that. That means all the vertices like will lie on the same circle. This is the question asking us. Now how can we prove? We know the result. There is a one result. In a cyclic quadrilateral we know the sum of opposite angles is 180 degrees. So if we will prove the sum of opposite angles, that's angle A, B, C plus angle A, B, C it is 180 degree that means this coordinate A, B, C, D is a cycle see this triangle A, B, B is an isosceles triangle so it means this angle and this angle they are equal here it is x degree and this will be also x degree because base angles of the isosceles triangle are equal. Here you can see BBC is again an isosceles triangle and this angle is 2x degree. I can say this angle is also the 2x degree because base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Here is one isosceles triangle, here is one isosceles triangle. Both the triangles, both the triangles are isosceles triangles. So their base angles will be equal. X is here, it will be X. 2x is here, this will be 2x. So if I want to find this angle, this angle B, D, C, angle B, D, C, what is the major of this? You can see from this triangle, 180 minus sum of these two, that's 4x. If I will write the reason, what is the reason? I can directly write sum of angles of triangle B, B, C is 180 degree. This is the reason. And next, I will check this angle. A, B, C. Angle A, B, C is the combination of these two angles. One angle is B, B, C. Second angle is B, B, A. So that is 180 degree minus 4x degree plus x degree which is equal to 180 degree minus 3x degree. So this angle ABC, this is 180 degree minus 3x degree. Now I will check this angle ABC. Angle ABC is equal to, is the combination of these two angles. That's x and 2x. So I can write x plus 2x. That is directly 3x degree. Now I will write angle ABC plus angle ABC. What is angle ABC? That's 180 minus 180 minus 3x plus what is angle ABC? That is 3x. 3x, 3x cancel because this is minus, this is plus, it is value is 0. Therefore, I can write angle ABC plus angle ABC is equal to 180 degree. But you can see the angle ABC and the angle A. B, C, this is here the B. These two 
angles are the opposite angles of this quadrilateral. I will write but angle A, B, C and angle A, B, C are opposite angles of quadrilateral A, B, C, D. What does that mean? We know the result, there is a theorem. If a quadrilateral is cyclic, that means if all the vertices if all the vertices of the quadrilateral lie on the circle, then the sum of opposite angles is always 180 degree. Here it is converse. When the sum of the opposite angles is 180 degree, we can say, therefore, the quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. So I will write here, therefore, A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral that is A, B, C and D are concyclic that is what we need to prove this was a question prove that A, B, C, D are concyclic so in this question what was asked we, it was given ABCD is a quadrilateral in which these sides are equal and these two angles were given. We have to prove, we need to be prove that ABCD is a quadrilateral whose vertex, vertices lie on the same circle. This was actually the question. So we have proved here. Now we will solve the question number 11. What is question number 11? A and B are points on the circumference of the circle. That is A and B are the points on the circumference of the circle. And B, C is the tangent. It means the angle between the radius that is OB and BC will be 90 degree. And this angle is given. We are required to find the angle C. That is to find the value of X. How can we find the value of X? From this triangle A, O, B, you can see O, B and O, A. They, the, these two sides are equal. So this is an isosceles triangle. It means this angle will be equal to 35 degree. Why? Right? Because base angles of the isosceles triangle are equal. Now I will find this angle. That's angle A, O, B, which is equal to 180 degree minus 35 plus 35, that's 70 degree, which is equal to 110 degree. Here I can write the sum of angles of a triangle AOB is 180 degree that is the reason you need to write here so angle AOB is now 110 degree since AOC is a line it means the sum of these two angles this angle plus this angle will be 180 degree now this angle we know it's 110 degree now we will find this angle that's angle <coughs> BOC is equal to 180 degree minus 110 degree which is equal to 70 degree why we know sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degree so now we know the value of this and this is also 90 degree why because the angle between the radius and the tangent is 90 degree now in this triangle B, C and O, I can write X is equal to directly X is equal to 180 degree minus 90 plus what is this? 70. That is 90 degree plus 70 degree, which is equal to 180 degree minus 90 plus 70 it is 160 degree, which is equal to 20 degree. Therefore, I can write x is equal to 20 degree is the answer of the question. It's very really simple.